Good day, students. I am Rome Therese Padilla, your teacher for this week. For week 6, our subject matter is radical. This is a radical. This one is a radical sign. The end here is what we call the index or order, which indicates the degree of the radicals such as square root, cube root, fourth root, or fifth root, and so on. And we have a raised to m, and it is called radicand. But the m here is called exponent, and a alone is the base. Now, let's proceed with writing expressions with rational exponents as radicals and vice versa. So, from exponential form to radical form. In radical form, laging mayroong radical sign. Then, radicand A raised to M. So, kung napapansin nyo, ang M sa radical form na ito, or the exponent of A, ay galing sa numerator ng ating exponential form. And then, the index N. Ito naman ay nagmula sa denominator ng exponential form. Also, maaari rin nating tawaging radical form ito. Ngayon naman, balik ta rin natin. From radical form to exponential form. Base A raised to M over N. Where M is the exponent in radicand. And denominator n is the index of the radical. Take note, if a is negative number and n is even, then a has no real roots. Sa examples natin, ang mga a natin ay negative numbers. Tapos, ang n or index ay even, meaning they have no real roots. Pangalawa, if A is positive or negative number and N is odd, then A has exactly one real root. Pansinin ninyo sa ating mga given, ang A ay negative numbers at ang mga N ay odd, which are 3 and 5. Then, they have exactly one real root. Ano ang root ng unang given? It is negative 3. Pangalawa naman ay negative 2. Ma'am, paano po nakuha ang sagot sa mga ito? Okay, next week, we'll learn about it. For our activity 1 of week 6, transform the given radical form into exponential form and exponential form into radical form. Assume that all the letters represent positive real numbers. First given is radical form. We're going to transform it into exponential form. Square root of y equals y. Just copy the radicand which is yung nasa loob ng ating radical sign. Ano ang exponent ng y sa ating radical form? Siyempre, 1. Kahit wala tayong nakikitang number dito, understood this has exponent 1. And then, since we use the square root here, understood also na 2 ang index nito kahit walang number na nakikita. Therefore, the answer is y raised to 1 half. Again, ang numerator 1 ay galing sa radical form at ang denominator 2 ay galing sa index or order ng ating radical form. Next one, exponential form gawing radical form. Lahat ng nasa quantity or parenthesis ay kopyahin lamang at lagyan ng radical sign. Sunod, ang numerator 3 ay magiging exponent ng ating quantity. And ang denominator 4 ay ang ating 
index or order. Third one, from radical form to exponential form. Kung napapansin ninyo, yung denominator lamang ang naka-radical form. Therefore, iyon lamang ang itatransform natin into exponential form. So, copy 3 all over quantity of 6r raised to 5 over s, which is yung nasa loob ng radical sign natin. Then, we put parenthesis on it. Ano ang exponent ng ating radicand? Siyempre, 1. Ano naman ang ating index? Tama, 2. Dahil square root ang ating ginamit. Next, copy the quantity and put radical sign. Anong exponent ng ating radicand? 1, tama. How about our index or order? 3, tama. Take note, we don't need to write the exponent 1 anymore. Kasi, meron mang number o wala, understood that this has exponent 1. Last given, copy the radicand and raise to 3 over 2. 3 from the exponent of the radicand and 2 is from the index which is square root. 